was arrested in 2016 for allegedly camping and defiling about 30 underage girls. The Lagos State Police Command swing into action. All right, today we are continuing from our teaching when I was talking uh, about the last time, uh, when I was talking uh, regarding the first pastors and the people who come out and claim that they are children of God, but actually they are not. So, you know, I said that video uh, would have been a much longer, but then I just have to, you know, shorten it. Now I'm bringing you the other parts, although there are so many, uh, many parts of these first pastors that you will come to know, but then I will still play this part again today. So, there's no much time to talk. You know how we started it before. So, just stay safe. And I, like I said earlier, uh, or in the past uh, video, if you're the type that loves argument, just pass. The video is not for you. So, without wasting much of your time, let's just go straight into the video. God bless you as you watch. With all sincerity. And not with sentiment. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy watching. Pastors are supposed to be those men that are ordained or called by God to carry out the mantle of leading his people. But nowadays, these are now the ones leading in evil. In this video, I will share with you 10 Nigerian pastors and their fake miracle. Coming in at number 10 is Pastor Chukuma Wokocha. Wokocha, the general overseer of Tongue of Fire Restoration Ministry, was arrested in 2016 for allegedly camping and defiling about 30 underage girls. The Lagos State Police Command swing into action after receiving a report that the pastor with a church situated on Jacob Taiwo Street, Oshogbo, was harboring some young girls and freely having unlawful canal knowledge of them. It doesn't end there. This man was also sleeping with married women all in the name of them getting pregnant. And the young sisters also all in the name of him chasing away their spiritual husband and them finding their husband. This guy is a real wahoo. Just the play. At number 9 is Pastor Emeka Odumeji. Pastor Emeka Odumeji, the Indaboski, the liquid metal, the lion, the bahosha, the war, the fight. The man that is not the preacher of love. Has been in the fake miracle ministry for long. There has been reports that his church in Anambra State has turned into WWE Smackdown Playground where he turns his members to punching bag, foot mats, and other insane things that I cannot mention for now. All on top miracle way you want to do for them. If you see where this guy, they chase evil spirit from members. You go ask yourself if not so Jesus Christ chase evil spirit from people that year. Then people of that year for no greed be Christians because this one are a hundred ways to die. Nine in the boski they practice on top people head. Number eight is Shepherd Bushiri. Prophet Shepherd Bushiri is a prophet that operates churches from Ghana to South Africa, who has claimed of curing people of HIV and AIDS, bringing back the dead to life, and even giving predictions, which all turns out to be false. In a video widely shared on social media, you could see him walking on air, all on top of the fake life matter. Bushuri is the founder of the Evangelical Church Gathering for South Africa, with branches in other countries. Many have called the Milonia pastor one of the richest religious leaders in Africa. He has claimed of curing people of HIV, making the blind to see, turning poor men to rich men, and even one time walking on the air. This one has even gone far as doing miracle money wow what a fake population where they turn up for a crusade fee full an entire stadium this guy they use poor people where they desperate to change their condition saying they sell miracle oil see nice updates for cash out born 20th february 1983 also known as major one or prophet shepherd bushiri is currently on the run onto plenty ao ao and magu magu when don't do on top the fake miracle lifestyle so in case you catch them for anywhere you feel reports give the appropriate authorities may then give you small something may it take hold your side Pastor Johnson Suleiman makes it into the list for what Israel Balogun, a YouTuber, described as miracle money scandal. Following the emergence of two videos online, according to Balogun, who is in charge of the Wholeness Africa Initiative channel, Suleiman in the video had told the congregation in two different programs held in 2021, in Benin City and in the United States of America respectively, that he had been divinely instructed to tell them that money had entered their bank account and they should check. Some church workers would then claim that some of the congregation received a lot of money credited into their account. But upon analyzing the video, Balogun said nothing like miracle money, that it was a planned scheme to make people believe angels were dropping money into their accounts. He subsequently said that Omega Fire Ministry members threatened to kill him over the statement he made. All on top help when you want help them or they're no angry at what. It's okay, let's continue. At number 6 is Chris Oyakilome. Chris Oyakilome, the founder and president of Love World Incorporated, also known as Christ Embassy, was in 2015 accused by a member of his church of staging miracle healing sessions. According to media reports, some congregations 
Simeon said that the popular televangelist hired people to pretend to be sick and disabled and then he healed them during his television show and public prayer meeting. One of the congregants claimed that they offered him 10,000 Ghana rand to rehearse and pretend to be in a wheelchair for three weeks before a prayer program at Johannesburg Stadium. Pastor Goswell Abbey is a Potako based pastor who was caught on tape healing a woman that had issues with her hand that has been seen in other crusades also being healed for the same hand issue. Now that makes one to wonder and ask if this woman hand need the ever heal finish. According to the woman, she says she don't open office on top of the fake miracle healing lifestyle. And any man of God who need her service, she's available provided say could he go come. Coming in at number five is Pastor Tony and Tony, aka Tony Montana. Pastor Tony and Tony, the general overseer of Radiant Army Deliverance Ministry, was caught on tape healing a lady called Bosse Ola Sukami, who was later identified as the lady seen in a viral video in Pastor Okafor's church. The lady said she was recruited by a girl called Falita Musa. Speaking to journalists after she was arrested in 2002, the suspect said she was taken to churches to exploit the bad condition of her right hand to make some money for herself. Madam Bosse claimed that she was taken to Pastor Anthony's church for healing and deliverance. According to her, she and Musa did rehearsals at home ahead of the service on Sunday. And upon turning up the church, Nasohan take heal. What a lie. At number three is Favor David and Favor Chimobi. They are formated duo claimed to be pastors who performed miracles. David spoke to member of the public claiming to be a cleric of Wonder Assembly Ministry who miraculously healed two women, Rukayat and Bumi, after a car accident. Bumi also gave testimony to church members that her son, who was deaf and dumb, could now hear and talk and was healed by another pastor, Chimobi, of the Elisha Ministry in Portacourt, the River State's capital. However, it was discovered by the Lagos State Police Command in 2011 that the testimony of all the mentioned persons were all false. David and Chimobi, according to the police, were syndicate and worked with each other, adding that the duo procured Rukaya and Bumi to provide fake testimonies to unsuspicious members of the public. All four persons have been arrested by the Nigerian police. They are currently cool off for that way assistance now. Number two on our list is Pastor Chris Okafor. Chris Okafor of the Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministry, also known as Liberation City, came under fire from Nigerians in 2019 after a video surfaced of a woman who had been healed in five different churches. A woman with an alleged wrinkled arm is seen being healed after which she straightened her arms in the first video. Okafo told his congregation that he was retrieving her missing bones directly from the coven of witches. However, other videos showed the woman appeared to be healed of the same problem by four different preachers. Okafo responded saying he never conducted any fake miracle. I will leave you, my viewers, to be the judge of that. Coming at number one is Pastor Alpha Lukayu. A South African pastor, Alpha Lukayu, who claimed to have resurrected a man from dead, has said he regrets the incident. His viral resurrection stunt led to several lawsuits with some critics challenging him to raise the late South African leader Nelson Mandela from the dead. Mr. Lukayu, who runs the popular Hallelujah ministry, has now also claimed that the man was already alive when he arrived at his church. The controversial preacher said this during an interview with Power FM Power Drive hosts in South Africa. Explaining how it all happened, he said he was busy with a sermon on Sunday when he was interrupted and told that a person in a coffin has been brought to the church. Before entering the premises of the church, the coffee began to shake, meaning the person was alive. I am really sorry for the misinterpretation of facts. The man was not dead and has never been in the mortuary as we earlier said. Mr. Lukayu explained when asked by the host why the man had been brought to the church in the first place. Mr. Lukayu said, I am not sure if I can make a statement that he was brought to me. We are the house of God and I am just a pastor serving in the house of the Lord. But I am sorry that we did not tell people the truth in the first place. Mr. Lukayu noted that the man was brought to the church by his family members who believed that something would happen if he was prayed for. I think that they brought the person to the church because they believed that God had the ability to resurrect the person. But still, our brother was alive even before they brought him to the church and we really apologize for not telling the truth in the first place, he said. The pastor who found himself in the middle of mass criticism from the public also added that he had no power to resurrect a person from the dead except if God used him as an instrument. God is still in the miracle business and miracle need a tired hand to do. In the holy books, he said, provided there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. And in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, he said, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. In Numbers, he said, God is not the man that he should lie. Neither has he said and has he not done. So my brother and my sister, make a no can sound like pastor for honor. As bad men they are so good men follow they. So while out there, try to be the judge of who is good and bad. But finally too, the holy book say judge not. That's all for today guys. I know you've loved watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notification about new and more interesting videos as they drop. Thank you.